is the second round of the Reptile World Cup semifinal. Today, we're going to be pitting the Americas versus Asia. To recap, in the first semifinal, Africa took on the juggernaut Australia. Although it was an epic battle, Africa came out on top. Go Africa! Let's get started with the Americas. There isn't a more iconic animal than the green anaconda. Of course, this is Ariana, one of the largest, if not the largest body snake on the entire planet. They've been known to get up to 300 pounds. Now, they aren't nearly as long as some of the other constrictor snakes that could get 25 plus foot, but certainly they are a 16 to 18 foot absolute beast. And like I've been documenting for years now, they're not the killers that people think. They're absolutely wonderful. Now, of course, when we come to Asia, we have this amazing beastie here, Elvis, the Asian water monitor. These guys can come from the Indonesian area all the way up into the Philippine area. Of course, they're slightly different, but they're Asian water monitors. Biggest monitors on the planet. Definitely absolutely amazing. Puppy dog tame. This animal is going to be a hard one to beat. He's strong. He's agile. He's got thick tail for protection. And, well, I tell you what, what an awesome animal. Back to the Americas and another iconic snake. I mean, isn't it interesting how the Americas have some iconic animals like the anaconda? Well, this would happen to be the boa constrictor. Of course, cupcake, a giant Colombian boa constrictor. And there's a bunch of different subspecies of boa constrictor, the true red tail boas and the common boa. Absolutely amazing animals. Can get about 10 foot long. Very stout, muscular animal. The truth is the reptile hobby wouldn't be probably what it is if it wasn't for the boa constrictor. But speaking of iconic snakes, the reticulated python. These guys are also from the Philippines and Indonesia. And of course, this is the longest snake in the entire world. These guys could get up to 25 foot long. And of course, Gemma is starting to really put some size on now. After going on her food strike for so long, she is pounding food. And look at how thick she is looking now. She is definitely a gentle giant. And then you have Butterscotch. These guys are so athletic. Pounce on things from the trees. Jump out, grab things in the middle air. And these are one of the few snakes that have been known to consume human beings. So these reticulated pythons are absolutely ridiculous. Can't talk about Asian snakes without the greatest venomous snake possibly on the continent. The king cobra. The longest venomous snake. The second biggest yield of venom. And possibly the most intelligent snake you find in the world. I absolutely love them. Have a look at this head. Look how big that head is. Look how intelligent it is. Look how it's climbing out towards you. The king cobra. Probably the most dangerous snake when it comes to the World Cup of Snakes. And I think one of the most incredible. Tell you what, king cobra, that's an iconic snake. I don't know that I can beat that, but I will say a really cool colubrid snake is this one right here, which of course is the black tail Kribo. These guys kind of look like a king cobra in a way, but they don't have the venom and they don't have that hood. But look at the scalation is very similar to them. They can get big. They can literally get nine foot. Not as big as a king cobra, but still pretty cool. When it comes to colubrid snakes, these guys are definitely right up there as one of the kings of all colubrids. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring this episode, not only because they're awesome, but also I get some scrumptious meals that are super easy to make and they're delivered fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals. What do we have here? Tostada baked. That sounds pretty good. We've got spicy jalapeno beef ball. What? Sounds awesome. Or a pesto salad. I'm going spicy jalapeno beef ball because I want to live on the edge. My holidays are ready jam-packed. Luckily, Factors Fresh never frozen meals make it easy to fuel up fast when I'm on the go. And I save time with meals delivered ready to heat and eat in just two minutes. Factor is cheaper than dining out or takeout. Put the money you save towards holiday fun and you time. And thanks to Factor's commitment to ingredients with integrity, you can enjoy flavorful chef curated meals meals guilt-free like their creamy Parmesan chicken and three bean vegan chili. Stress less over mealtimes this holiday season. Factors, no prep, no mess meals, free up time, otherwise spent shopping, cooking, and doing cleanup so you can fully enjoy the holidays without wasting hours in the kitchen. Factor has everything I need for a week of flavorful, nutritional eats. In addition to ready-to-eat meals, they have cold-pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie size, and more to keep you energized during this frenetic holiday times. Head to go dot factor 75.com slash brian b60 and use code brian b60 to get 60 percent off your first factor box literally two minutes guys and i am ready to eat this is amazing oh my god it smells so good I tell you what guys, it's insane that in two minutes you can actually get that taste. This is amazing. I love Factor. Now you can go to go.factor75.com slash brianb60 and use the code brianb60 and save 60% off your first Factor box. Back to the Americas. These guys are corn snakes, of course. They can be found all the way up into New Jersey, all the way to the tip of the Florida Keys. And they are really one of the most common snakes kept in captivity. They have hundreds of different color phases. They're relatively inexpensive and they make a great beginner pick. 
pet snake. I always tell people, when you want a snake and you don't want a ball python, a corn snake is the way to go. And Maisie here is big a big corn snake. About five foot long. They rarely exceed five foot. This is a giant animal. But you can see how unbelievably placid they are. When it comes to Asia, we have one of the most beautiful, naturally occurring snakes. Of course, the mandarin rat snake. Native to China. This is as big as they get. They're absolutely wonderful. I mean, just look at the yellow and black coloration. Now that these guys are being captive bred, they're absolutely beautiful animals. And they do really well. In the past, they were imported from China and they did very poorly. Thankfully, with captive production, they become just as easy to keep as even a corn snake. Really cool animal. So let me know in that comment so far, who's winning? Is it America's or is it Asia? Keep on commenting each time I show an animal. Tell me which one you think wins that bracket. At the end, we're going to tally your voice and have a poll. And we're going to find out who goes on to the finals for the Reptile World Cup. While you're down there, do me a favor. Hit that subscription button. For the American team, we have Ben and Jerry, the two-headed California king snake. Now, of course, these are native to California. Hence the name California king snake. And these guys are a little bit cheating because they have double the power because they have double the head. Cal kings are amazing animals, much like corn snakes. They get about four, maybe five foot at the maximum. Really good pet snakes. Come in a bunch of different color phases, but not many of them have two heads. And then way up here in the corner for the Asian team, iconic green tree python. And this particular one is from Indonesia. They can also come from New Guinea. And a very small portion can come from Australia, but unfortunately, Australia, you've already lost. So I'm not going to talk about this. And an absolutely gorgeous animal. Great display animal. Some gigantic teeth. I love green tree pythons, but hey, tough match going up against Ben and Jerry. Okay, go fight me. There you go, buddy. And of course, we have our nemesis for the Americas, green iguana. This happens to be Tabasco, the red-faced green iguana. That is one absolutely amazing animal. Of course, these guys live up in the trees. They are certainly invasive in Florida now, but what an incredible animal. Look at his mouth open a little bit. I think that he remembers me and wants to say like, hey, dad, you want to have another go at it? No, that's okay, buddy. I promise I respect you now, but wow, look at that animal. That's one ripper of an animal playing for the Americas. And although Tabasco has a special spot in my heart, it will certainly have a, a scar on my arm forever, which by the way, if you didn't see that video, I'll put a card right here, what happened with Tabasco. Totally my fault, mistake, but what a beautiful animal. But talking about a beautiful animal, one of my favorite snakes, of course, is the albino Burmese python. This would be Sunrise. These guys are native to Myanmar and Vietnam and are a, one of the giants for sure. They can get 18 plus foot and over 200 pounds, but are typically the gentle giants for sure. They're much more mellow than reticulated pythons and they're just absolutely wonderful snakes. I've had Burmese pythons since I was 15 years old and I hope I have them for the rest of my life. For America, it's a cool colubrid snake, the bull snake. Of course, this is El Toro. They have a wide range. They can be found as far north as Minnesota and go all the way down to southern Oklahoma and either northern Texas. They actually have a bunch of different ranges that are absolutely beautiful. Big colubrid snake can sometimes get eight plus foot long. Really intelligent, good feeders, really underappreciated reptile. And it's facing off against the Indonesian and New Guinea frilled dragon. This is actually chicken nugget, which is the first frilled dragon that I ever produced from Nova and Lily. Got those cool little flaps on them. Unbelievably cool animal. Definitely a high contender when it comes to one of the coolest lizards in Asia. Back to the Americas and we have the red-footed tortoise. I love these guys because they can live good 75 plus years, but this is about as big as they get. I mean, they get a little larger, but not a lot. There is an actual locality of red-foot tortoises that can get about three to four times the size. Much, much larger. But this particular locality stays pretty small. Really cool, beautiful animal. They almost look like Darth Maul from Star Wars. Just a really cool tortoise. This may be one of the cutest players on the team, but these guys can be ferocious. Have you ever seen them scream? Well, that's pretty darn cute anyway. And this is a little bit of a tricky one because although these do come from the Middle East, they also do range into India, which is South Asia. Of course, it would be probably the most popular pet lizard, the leopard gecko. Tons of different variety, relatively cheap, super easy to care for, and can make absolutely great pets. And again, super, super cute. Tegu or not Tegu? That is the question. And of course, this is an Argentine black and white Tegu named Terence. It's the largest lizard species in South America. Absolutely wonderful animal. Make great pets. People actually will even free range these in their house without cages. They can be potty trained. They're just really great animals. You can even teach them to go back home on their own. Go back home, buddy. I tell you what, Tegus, they're a cool animal. On the taller polar opposite end of the scale, we have the Vietnamese mossy frog. These guys' strength is obviously that camouflage. I mean, they obviously are called mossy frogs because they just blend in with moss. If you were walking through a forest, you would never see this on a tree with a bunch of moss. Absolutely cool little camouflage frogs. I love these guys. They're not exactly a Tegu 
Wagyu, but in their own right, they are awesome. Now, no World Cup of Snakes would be complete without this snake here, all the way from Asia, the Mangshan Viper. Probably the prettiest snake in the world and one of the rarest snakes you find on the planet. Have a look at the top of that head there. Isn't that incredible? Moss colored snake, massive heat pits in between the eyes and the nostrils. Big venom glands. Let me show you the venom glands. Look over there. That's venom glands. Those two bumps on the back of the head and fangs that will make your chutney tunnel just pucker up. Just like that. The Mangshang Viper, probably the rarest most beautiful MVP player of all the snakes in the world. <laughs> I tell you what, Dingo, that is a ripping animal. There's no doubt about it. I have one that I think that can challenge it, though. Pretty freaking cool looking snake here. This is what they call a pied muserana rat snake. This is a South American animal, and guess what? It is rear fang venomous. Maybe not as venomous as the one you showed, but still has some venom in it. But they're really, really docile. You don't have to worry too much about getting bitten. If they do bite you, they have to really chew on you to envenomate you. And even then, it's a relatively malformed, but the pieds are incredible. Just take a look at this black and white, absolutely ridiculous looking snake. Pied Museranas, they're pretty freaking awesome. Well, because of my injury here, I shouldn't be putting my arm into dirty water, so I'm enlisting Mike's help to show off an amazing dinosaur. A total dragon here. Of course, this is the alligator snapping turtle that comes from the south part of America. You'll find these down in the Missouri area. These guys are the largest turtle in America. They can get up to 200 pounds and live 200 years. Look at that animal right there. Absolutely incredible. What are you doing, buddy? You just like a little bit of nose? This guy is one of the tamest alligator snappers you'll ever see. For Asia, the Indonesian and Malaysian blood python. Now there's blood pythons as there's short tail pythons. This would be a blood python. And I told you before that Danielle, the blood python, the world's record for the longest blood python in captivity. She is a beast for sure. And thankfully she is super docile. Definitely an awesome animal. Is it as awesome as Bowser? That's only for you to tell. Go ahead in the comments. Ooh. The caiman lizard for the Americas. These guys are really unusual animals. It's like a mix between a caiman type of crocodilian and a tegu. Really cool, like three foot lizard that is a pretty aquatic lizard. They will climb on land a bunch, but they spend a lot of their life down in the water. Really amazing animal. Beautiful orange head that transitions into green body. Just look at how cool that animal is right there. Absolutely amazing. Another red headed animal that turns into green would be the Molendorfi. What they call the hundred flower rat snake. Beautiful animal, and these guys are the Asian version, right? Because they come from China. Really cool, big colubrid from China. These guys need to be kept a little bit cool. And just like I talked earlier about the Mandarin rat snakes, they used to come in and do horrible. But now that they're being captive bred in limited numbers, once you get them, they are absolutely great animals in captivity. We've had Zuko here for about five or six years. It's captive bred, and it is so cool. I tell you what, what an interesting looking snake. Back for the Americas, and guys, we're coming down to the wire. We only have a few animals left. You have to choose what's going to win, the Americas or the Asian animals. I mean, it is a tough battle, much like Africa versus Australia. And just imagine in the finals what we're going to see. Of course, the Brazilian rainbow is amazing. South American animal, beautiful, reddish, orange animal with cryptic, beautiful pattern to it. A snake that can get about six foot long, live bearing snake that can produce about 20 to 25 babies. Brazilian rainbow boas, I tell you what, it's going to be hard to beat. But if you want to get into a beautiful snake, it's going to be hard to beat this one too. This is a Boland's pipe. On Bugatti, gorgeous kind of rare snake from New Guinea. These guys live relatively high up in the cloud forest, can get like nine to 12 foot long, thick body snake, absolutely beautiful iridescence in that black as they get older. They're born with this reddish rust color that makes them really cool. And then they develop into their adult colors like Bugatti now. And even though Bugatti's amazing now, trust me, he's only halfway grown. When he gets full grown, it's gonna be ridiculous. The Green Tree Monitor. Look at how beautiful this pair of Green Tree Monitors is. These guys are from Indonesia. They're a Varanus Persina, and they are absolutely ridiculous. This is as big as they get. They live up in the trees, and these guys used to always hide all the time, but now they become really comfortable with their environment, and they're out almost all the time climbing around. They're such little raptors. Really, really cool lizards. Back to America, and you can't get more American than Texas. And this happens to be a Texas rat snake, but it's a scaleless Texas rat snake named Joker, so he is really cool. And the fact that it's scaleless gives it a little bit more energy, a little bit more power, a little bit more fight for this Battle of the Reptile World Cup. 
And the last contestants are a little bit snippy animals. This, of course, is an Amazon tree boa named Lucky. He's a tiger faced Amazon, and he is definitely a little nippy one. So if you want a player that's gonna be playing a little dirty, I have a feeling Lucky is your player. But the feistiness of that Lucky, the Amazon tree boa, isn't gonna be met by the feistiness of this mangrove snake, or what they would call a divergence. It's one of the most beautiful of the mangrove snakes, but the difference is when this one bites you, it packs a little bit of venom, a little bit of punch. This thing is incredible. Look at the pattern on that animal and the color on that animal. I tell you what, it's gonna be hard to choose, but down in the comments, last chance, who's gonna win? The Americas or Africa? We're gonna find out, and then we're heading to the finals. It's just gonna be ridiculous.